Welcome to my Feast in a Jar video for Janet Homestead's Where You Are. Um, this collaboration, we're all doing a meal in a jar. So for mine, I'm going to do a simple chili. I just got a chili packet of sauce, or sauce mix. Because when I do do my chili when I'm ready to eat them, I add spices afterwards to spice it up. Um, the jars I'm going to be using, I'm going to be reusing these Tostitos jars. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that because I'm not going to be boiling a jar full of stuff in the water or anything like that. I'm going to be using the hot jar method. Um, so, first thing I got to do is get this ground beef on. This uh, collaboration is running for all of April. And there is one video per day being dropped by people. And mine is on the 7th, which is today. Well, it's today for you, but it's not for me. And, yep. So I'm using about a uh, pound and a half chili, or ch pound, <laughs> pound and a half ground beef. I've got one large can of diced tomatoes. I've got one can of dark red kidney beans. I've got one can of tomato paste and one can of mushrooms, pieces of the stems. Of course, I've got some peppers and onions already diced up, frozen in bags, and another large onion to add. Let me get this meat out and start getting that cooked right away. And I will get back to you in a few minutes. Now, when all the ground beef is cooking out, I'm going to get all these cans opened and get my onion cut up and have that ready to go. Because that, as soon as the ground beef is cooked out, you can dump all this in and then it just has to sit and simmer for about four hours or more. <laughs> it's chilly. Now that the meat's cooked out, I'm going to my onion. My vegetables. Well, my peppers and onions. Tomatoes. 
Delirient. En France. Tomato paste. Piece off and the packet of chili seasoning. I keep going to say powder, but it's not chili powder, it's seasoning mix. Now this is actually going to be a few hours before it's ready because all this needs to cook through. So put a lid on, leave it on low, and I'll get back with you when this is ready. Alrighty guys, my, uh, my chili's been on for quite a few hours. I got my jars in boiling. Don't forget now, on the 6th of May, uh, Janet will be doing a giveaway. She's going to choose the winner from one of the comment, one of the videos, the comments on the videos. So don't forget to leave a comment, uh, like, share, and subscribe. And go and check out all of the other videos. I'm sure Janet has a uh, folder set up. Folder. A playlist set up with all the... Uh, all of the entries into the collab. So let me show you what I got going on. Oh, and these are the spices I'll be using to spice my chili afterwards. Here's the pot of chili. Oh, run away. And one of the big things with this is you want to keep it as hot as possible when you're doing it. That makes sure that everything seals up well and it makes sure that it kills all the bacteria. And there's my jars. You can see they've gotten a bit a little bigger so they don't quite fit. It's actually the lids. The lids are holding them up. Doris. Doris was trying to be a cameraman, guys. Now he wants to make sure you get a, uh, a tight seal on your bottle and that will pop. Stop 
moving the camera. Then you just repeat the process. Alrighty, so I got two bowls there, three jars, all that one pot. Like I said, I have to, these are extremely hot, so I have to let them cool. But here is a feast in a jar because it's a entire bowl of chili right here. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it, and I hope to catch you all on the next one, and watch out for the rest of this collab for the rest of the month. I'm sure there's going to be some fantastic things done.